All right, guys, let's look at lesson four, which is branched hydrocarbons. So branch hydrocarbons, basically what they are is they're alkyl groups or carbon chain branches that stick off a main parent chain of hydrocarbons. So basically what you're going to have is you're going to have a large carbon hydrogen chain, and then off of it you're going to have these other carbon hydrogen pieces that stick off of it. And those are what we're going to call our branched hydrocarbons. So when you name them, you first count all of the carbon atoms in the alkyl branch. Then what you're going to use is use table P, then you're going to add the suffix YL to the prefix. So for example, if you had a CH3 group hanging off, it'll be a methyl group hanging off of your large hydrocarbon chain. So naming branched alkanes, so you're going to fill in your example as we work through it, okay? So this is your hydrocarbon chain. So first thing you do is you got to find the longest continuous chain of carbons. That's what we call the parent chain. So the long carbon chain is going to be up top. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons here. So that's the longest carbon chain, okay? Seven carbons. Awesome. So then what we do is they're continuous, continuous carbon, so this is the parent chain. It's going to be called heptane. And I'm keeping the A-N-E as red because we're going to look at it a little bit further. Okay? So now what you're going to do is now you're going to circle your branch chains. So the number of carbons in the parent chain starting with the end, that will give the attached groups the smallest number. So... And so that's why we started down with a 1 on the right, because that would give us the smallest number. So if we did left, we would number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This would give us 6. If we numbered, if look at our numbers in green, that gives this a group of 2. So we're going to go with um, the green orientation. So the chain is numbered from right to left because it gives the attached groups the lowest possible numbers. So now we're going to add numbers to the names of the groups to identify their positions in the chain. So this group 2 is going to be a meth, this group 3 is going to be a meth, and this group 4 is going to be an eth. So in this example, the positions are methyl, methyl, and ethyl as we go from left, right to left. So it's going to be 2-methyl because it's on the second carbon. It's going to be 3-methyl because it's on the third carbon. And it's going to be 4-ethyl because it's on the fourth carbon. So now we are going to use prefix if a group appears more than once in the structure. So di is going to be for twice, tri is going to be for three times, tetra is four times, and penta is five times. So this example has two methyl groups, so it's going to be used, the prefix di is going to be used. So when we name this, we're going to use dimethyl, and when we do it, we're going to list the alkyl groups in alphabetical order. So in this example, dimethyl is going to be listed before the ethyl group. So, step six, use punctuation. Use commas to separate numbers and use hyphens to separate words, um, numbers with words. So... The name of this compound finally is going to be 2,3-dimethyl-4-ethyl-heptane. Okay, so 2,3-dimethyl because on the second and the third carbon there's a methyl group. So there's two of them, so that's why it's dimethyl. 4-ethyl and then heptane because that's the longest parent chain. So let's look at this practice. Okay, so step one is that the longest parent chain has six carbons. So that means those two are going to be methyl or methyl groups. So one, two, when we name it, it's going to be hex. Oh, they're all single bonded, so it's going to end in ane. So the parent chain is hexane. The three, step three is we're going to add the numbers for the methyl group. So we want them to have the lowest number. So it's going to be two methyl, four methyl. Step Four is going to be, we are going to put the dimethyl there, so that's the prefix, um, to show that there are two methyl groups. And then step six is going to be naming the whole thing. So we have two, four, dimethyl hexane. All right, so let's look at this practice. We're going to go over this tomorrow in class, and we're also going to go over this first check your understanding in class. Now, what about if we have 
isomers of alkane. So recall that isomers have the same molecular formula but different structural formulas. So butane is going to be C4H10, but 2-methylpropane has the same molecular structure formula, but it has a different structure. So we got to match the isomers. So what you're going to have to do, and we're going to look at this, you're going to have to match the ones that have the same number of carbons and hydrogens. They're going to be the isomers of each other. So this carbon, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. It's butane is the same as this one. And then this chain is the same as all three of those. So let's look at this, check your understanding. So which two compounds are isomers of each other? We'll answer this one tomorrow in class.